Hello and welcome to Agrarian Skies 2. I'm Mora 28 and I am finishing up one long freaking 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 infusion. <laughs> um, I have just made myself a node. This thing is a beast of a node too. Let's go ahead and check this out. I mean, you can see how look how this thing's like pulsating in the hand here. Oh, it's a sinister node. Are you kidding? Hmm. I don't know if you can actually do anything with the sinister node. Uh, well, I guess it's better than what else it could have been. I wonder if it's random or if they're all sinister if you make them that way. Uh, so what I just did, actually, was I used, um, where is it? This thing right here, node catalyzation. Um, doesn't seem to indicate, though, that it's going to be sinister. I think it might have just been a random chance. Uh, but what I did is I chose to make a node using the, uh, Fabrico, um, Essentia. And it's, uh... It took a lot of crafting tables to make that, actually. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go ahead and energize that guy and then stick it in the corner, like, over here and have it put into the uh, Thumbic Energistic system so that we can actually, like, recharge all of our wands and stuff that are, like, in here. It'll make things a lot easier for me. Uh, we do need to go ahead and make a node stabilizer, though, which is one of these guys. Um, actually, I'm going to need two of these. Uh, what are you missing? You're missing the arcane stone bricks. And yes, it is the second one that we need for the shift clicking. That is so useful. Uh, so that's one stabilizer and then we're out. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get this. I actually have a crafting scepter over in my little animal pen area waiting to do its stuff. Uh, we've actually got a little setup over here now for some uh, thomic stuff. Uh, what I've actually done, this is currently set up to make chocolate cows, like this guy right over here. So he, from him, I actually can get a like a bucket and just get a bucket of chocolate milk, which is used to make chocolate bars, and the chocolate bars can be used to make chocolate blocks or ice cream. Uh, that was my very last actual quest for the uh, Sky Farm section, was to make chocolate. This guy right here. Uh, as soon as I finished Taming the Shrew, this thing popped up as an available option. It's kind of weird that it kind of comes together to a point right here. The general flow to this would have made me expect it to go like that. Don't know why, it's just a little bit odd. And these guys are just doing their business. Uh, the golem we set up the other day is doing absolutely fantastic, by the way. So let's check this out. Uh, yeah, he's uh, definitely... Enchanted book. Power 4, efficiency 4, damage 4. Holy cow! Fire protection. Power 4. Luck of the Seed 2. Lure 3. Unbreaking 3. So yeah, no, this guy... As much as I laughed at the idea of a fishing golem, I think in my next single player world, I'm definitely doing a fishing golem. <laughs> this guy is fantastic. Plus, this is actually acting as a squid farm, right? So we're getting uh, ink sacks in here, which is a nice, good source of... Uh, ink, because I haven't had any, actually. <laughs> um, right now, I actually don't need to use this, unfortunately, for the vat. Uh, we might try to do an instill loyalty on this guy, and if we do that, we'll be able to have him wandering around here without needing to keep away from him. He won't attack us or anything. That'll actually be really nice, thinking on it. Um, however, I need to get a little bit more prepared for that. I'm going to need, like, a golden apple. I'll need one of those saddles we have in here. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll need one of those guys. Uh, we'll also need to go ahead and get the jars for it. I tried using the Essentia pump to do this stuff. Does not work quite right. <laughs> uh, it pulled in all but the very last bit, and then as soon as it tried to uh, finish it off, it just kept pulling in the last bit of Essentia over and over and over again, and eventually the cow exploded. I might have footage of that, so you could uh, see how terrible and hilarious it is. But essentially, the cow suffered total protonic reversal, and it just went pff, flux everywhere. Not pretty. Not pretty at all. Uh, what we're going to do today, though, actually, is uh, I want to go kill a few uh, elementals from blood magic. I'd like to finish off a little bit more of the blood magic quests and stuff we have. And I have put together a bit of an arena inside of the uh, last millennium dimension, or whatever it's called. And I am kind of looking forward to using that. Let's go ahead and drain these things. Okay, so we drain that. Thick fog appears from nowhere, something stirs in the depths. 
Uh, is there actually something here, or is this me going crazy? Because I've been attacked by, um... Hello? There should be a... What you call them? Guardian type thing around here somewhere. Eldritch Guardian, where are you? You got company in here? No, let's go ahead and take a quick trip in the uh, pool. Get a little bit of warp reward. Don't want anything bugging us while we're recording. Uh, you might have noticed, this is actually a Wednesday. Today's episode is out late, you're thinking? No, no, it's not. Uh, this is actually going to be my new days for Agrarian Skies videos. I've come to the conclusion that, given how far I am in the uh, series as a whole, most of what I have left is magic stuff, and I don't think everybody's going to want to see me doing magic stuff twice a week. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and move it to Wednesday, and then I'll find out something different to go ahead and do for uh, Monday and Friday. I'm not quite sure what yet. Uh, my Crafter Canum stuff is not ready yet, unfortunately, so it's a... Uh, I could get started on some stuff, but it's not really ready for a playthrough, and I don't want to record and have to reset, because that would frustrate many, many people. Myself mostly, but many people. There we go. I knew I was looking for something. That, uh, non-Guardian distracted me. Alright, let's go ahead and put the Scepter in here. That's two, and then we also need to go ahead and make a node. Uh, we're going to need a comparator, actually. Okay, we got that. We can go ahead and make the uh, transducer. Please? Yes. Alright, and now is there actually like a P2P tunnel for... Uh... Uh, let's go ahead and get the quest book real quick. So this is going to be under Energistics. V Relay Interface, yeah. So we need a PT, P2P Tunnel ME. So what does it take to make a P2P Tunnel? Tunnel Light Item Fluid ME. We got that, right? Oh, we don't got that. Alright, so we have to go back to our main thing. We can't request crafting here. Uh, that's okay. Rain in the jar. Okay, so stabilizer, transducer. So stab goes here. Node is going to go right... Right here. And then transducer. Let's get the uh, redstone block. We're not going to put that in quite yet. I'm going to wait until I actually break it out of there. So let's go ahead and get the uh, P2P tunnel thing. You know what? If we transduce it, it's not going to matter. Oh! So let's go ahead and uh, break the node. Oh, that's a bright, bright guy. Yes, you are. All right, let's see what that breaks down to. Whenever you actually energize a node like that, it only gives out primals. So since that's a fairly complex uh, bit of essential there, or... Aspect. I don't even know what to call it, really. I keep getting tongue-tied. There's so many names for very similar concepts in Thompcraft. Uh, v. Yes, V. Since the fabric of V is fairly complex, it'll be broken down into the uh, primals. It should actually cover a very large amount of them. Craft, please. Make, uh, say, 20. Thank you. Alright, so we got that. Let's go ahead and make a P2P. Tunnel, ME, P2P me. And do I have a shard in here that is of the balanced variety? I do not. The good news is though we actually have it up here in the tower. Uh, too high. Is this thing uh, energized yet? Oh, that's pretty nice. It's 10 of each. I like it. That was well worth the, uh, that was well worth it. 
That actually might be overkill for what we're doing here. <laughs> uh, oh well. Let's go ahead and get some ME cable. Uh, it's not ME cable, it's Fluix cable. That's the dense stuff, I suppose that'll work. We need the actual regular Fluix cable though. Uh, Fluix. All right, we got that. Let's go ahead and combine the tunnel with a balanced shard. It's crazy, I had some of these made up ahead of time. It's like I knew I might need it. All right, so V relay interface, got it. And do we actually have another V relay? I think I need one of these guys for it to work right. Uh, another shard some iron so we, we got that okay so V if we go to the second one thank you for the uh, tip by the way we can go ahead and shift click it in and get a V relay awesome sauce all right we're gonna go ahead and put that over where do we want to do that I kind of want to put it like right on the main shaft here So that way we just have like this thing like beaming the energy over this way. I like that. Let's put the V-Relay right there. There we go. We have Drain. So that should actually start charging the wand, I believe. Charge the wand. Are you online? No, I can't even tell if you are online. Here's the great secret, it's not actually wood post. It looks like it should be online. Why is that not charging? Okay, let's check something real quick. So for V relay interface, uh, after observing how V flows through the network of V relays, you believe you can construct a digital device to harness. Okay, require more research. Our king crafting terminal charges the wand in the ACT. But it did. Oh, we gotta link it. Okay. Wait, did that say it can only go to one? In order for a device to receive V, it must be linked from the interface. Linking other devices to the interface will require the use of a memory card. Each device can only be linked with one interface. Does not say what interface can only be linked to. So it's one in, many out. All right, let's go ahead and get a memory card then. I thought it just gave power to the network. That would make sense, though, that it does not indeed function that way. So if we go ahead and we uh, click on that, we should get the still blank. Shift click. How? How we do? I have done this before with other types of B2B tunnels. Why do you not work? Remember card blank. Okay, there we go. Source Digiv, all right. It's like Digimon, but it's Digiv. If we click, it should load settings, and then this guy should start charging. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Okay, good. Oh, check that out. Oh, that is the wrong spot. It's got a really neat looking uh, thing around it as it's charging that up. try to get this back on here the right way again. Oh, that just looks awesome. I approve. I greatly approve. And this thing's probably all full up on stuff again, isn't it? Yes, it is. Damn freaking tastic. Oh, that's awesome. I'm sorry, I'm going to be saying awesome a lot today. <laughs> this is uh, the first time in a survival anything I've actually energized an aura node, so that's kind of neat for me. Plus, I actually made the node myself. 
also awesome. Welcome to Thunderdome. And it's only reason I'm calling it Thunderdome, by the way, is because Way of Time is obsessed with lightning. And I have a feeling this is going to be loud. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, quickly shift this over to the frost. There we go. Suck it. Come on. <laughs> Ow. I hit myself. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't like the slow effect. Go away. Where'd you go? He's at 62 health, 54, 47, 31, 23. He's going down. Okay, we're, we're winning this one. Easy peasy. Uh, he's actually dead. Didn't seem to drop anything, though. That is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to have to do that a few times. I'm trying to get a uh, shard off of these guys. Luckily, I have made up a few extra ones of uh, this Tenebrae, so it's not going to be so bad. Uh, normally, I fight the Air Elemental because it's uh, fairly easy to fight. It doesn't really have any really big damaging attacks. It just throws you around. And once you have flight, that's really a non-issue. How's this one? That's not bad. I kind of wish this was like a cold ray instead of a uh, snowball thrower. Oh, that hurt. Come on. Eat the sword, please. I don't know if I actually have to use a uh, bound blade for this, or I could just use any other sword. However, it's probably more sporting using the Bound Blade than using my Tinker Stools. Um, so he's dead too. No shard, that's terrible. And I need three of these things. Oh, this is gonna be... This is not gonna be fun. If I don't get a shard off of this, I think I'm just gonna do it off camera. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing up here, right? No. Oh, I wish that thing would close. Okay, good. Last thing I want is this thing getting out. 61, 23, 46. Let's try getting him away from the edges. I think he might be, uh... Dying near the sides. That might be doing bad stuff. Uh, this field of view change that it gets with slow is so annoying. Alright, so we have a single demon blood shard. Alright, so that's um that's unfortunate. Out of the three, I was hoping I'd get at least two. Uh the good news is though I can actually go ahead and make a tier five orb now. Um so do I make a tier five orb or do I complete a quest? Let's make the tier five orb. Let's go ahead and get some warded jars. I think for the last bit of the day, I want to go ahead and infuse a cow again. This time we're going to make it so it doesn't want to kill us. Uh, we're going to need a golden apple, which we actually have some. Apple, please, apple. Thank you. Uh, let's see, we got the golden apple. We'll need a saddle. And what else is it for the uh, infusion? Yeah, it doesn't tell us that way. We have to actually open it up here. So, Thumbic Horizons, and it's going to be Instilled Loyalty. Uh, a brain. Okay, brain. So, it's going to be Bistia, Cognito, and Permatatio. Um, da -da -da brain. Not the dried jerky brain. They're delicious, but they are not what we need. Alright, so let's go upstairs. I have no XP again, that's really annoying. It's actually, it's there, I just can't see it. It is still really annoying. Uh, 
All right, so we're gonna come on over here. We need to make some labels. We're going to want Hortacio, um, Portano Bestia, and Cognito, I believe. All right, so let's go ahead and add one, two, three. This is a good way just to make sure that you don't get the wrong stuff whenever you put it into the terminal. Hermitasio, 99. Cognito. And then a Bestia. Okay, you can actually go away as well, we don't need you. Uh, what we will need to get is some Essentia tubing. All right, and let's go get ourselves a cow. We need another warrior jar. It's like, totally forgot about the fact we actually have to get it back into the uh, system again. Anyway, if this works right, what this should do is actually make it so this cow doesn't want to kill us. I hope. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and get a focus on here. We want the focus of containment. You're coming with me, buddy. I feel like he should like explode when doing this. All right. Uh, we got a little bit of a spam there, but we actually did get it inside of the jar. So it's a jarred chocolate cow. Uh, we also have that jarred nitro creeper. You know what? I really want to uh, do it to the cow, but I think I'm going to do it to the creeper. <laughs> Let's get this guy. Jarred Nitro Creeper. What could possibly go wrong? Alright, let's go ahead and get this set up first. We want the uh, Permitatio. And then... There we go, set up the pipe. I want you to go the other way. Now, I don't think this guy's got any locations where he can fall off the edge, so he should be okay. Um, yeah, no, he should be in a no-fall zone, so we should be good with him. So we're going to go ahead and right-click and put the jarred Nitro Creeper into the curative vat. Oh, God, that guy. It's terrifying. Hey, buddy. He's got a lot of health, though, so we don't. I don't think we need to worry about him dying from the process. Uh, let's get the Apple Saddle Zombie Brain and a wand. Uh, there's no good way to spread this out, so we'll just do whatever. And let's give it a whack. Okay, it's pulling the stuff in. Okay, I think we're done. Um, oh, please let this not be a really bad idea. So we have a jarred nitro creeper. Oh, this is. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill. Um. Bonk. Hi, buddy. How you doing? No! Don't attack him. Don't attack them! No! <laughs> okay. He's just breaking torches. He's not actually... Okay. Okay. He's going after torches. Okay, you're, you're a good guy. You're a good little guy. Oh, you're, you're a little rascal. Where did that jar go? Hi. Yes, you are. You're a little rascal. You are not going to destroy my torches. No, I'm going to have to fence you in here, unfortunately. That's okay, though. You can be my little mascot. Let's get a fence. Let's get a fence gate and a fence. Yeah. Okay. Um, we need stone walls. This guy's uh, kind of cute. Kind of terrifying, but kind of cute. I think I'll keep him. 
There we go. You can do no harm in here. Yes, you... Yeah, you can't. There you go. Gotta get you a name tag. Oh, no, that will not do, sir. <laughs> that will not do, sir. You stop that. You know, if I do instill loyalty on you... Oh! You're not supposed to fight back. Okay, at least he's forgotten how to explode. I guess that's a good sign. Uh, this did not go nearly as well as one had hoped. <laughs> Will he break fences? Okay, well, I suppose that was uh, fun while it lasted. At least I can scan him safely now. <laughs> Alright, I think that's going to be it for today, though. We have our little pet Metro Creeper. It is not any less dangerous than it was before, but at least now he's not going to uh, explode on us, so... We can, oh, we can at least pet him. We just gotta watch out. He bites. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching this episode of A Grain Skies 2. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below, and I'll see you next time in a little bit more Skyblock action.